Hello everybody, uh, this is Brother Luke, Sin City Preacher. I want to make this video so that uh, you could show this video to the children. If you have a, a child that is five, six years old, uh, I, I want to speak to them on that level. And this is how, how simple the gospel is. The good, the good news in the scriptures is so simple that a five or six year old should be able to understand it. So I'm going to explain it now so simply that even a child can understand it. There is a supreme being. Uh, we call this supreme being God Almighty. And God Almighty is Almighty. He has the power to do anything. He has the uh, He has all the knowledge. He knows everything, and He He exists everywhere. So He knows everything. He's everywhere, and He's all powerful. God Almighty. This God Almighty decided He wanted to make creatures. He created creatures. Creatures called humans, like you and like me, people. He, he is the creator. He is the one that designed us, decided how, you know, how he would make us, uh, what he would make us into. And he, the first person he made, the Bible says his name was Adam. And uh, the, the Bible says that God Almighty decided Adam shouldn't be alone. He should have a wife. So he made Eve, Adam and Eve. Now, from Adam and Eve, the very first human beings God ever made, uh, through their marriage and them having children, through generations and you know children and grandchildren and grand, great, 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 great grandchildren, we have all of humanity, all of the people of the world came from Adam and Eve, whom God created. Now, when Adam and Eve were first created, God lived with them here on the earth in a beautiful, perfect paradise. The world was just perfect and beautiful. No problems, nothing bad, just love between Adam and Eve and God. But God didn't make Adam and Eve to be like robots or puppets where that he could just control every move. He, he made them to be free people. They were free to do what they wanted to do. And he also wanted to make sure that they were free to love him or even free to reject him and say, I, I just want to go my own way, God. I don't want to have anything to do with you anymore. I, I want to do my own thing. God gave Adam and Eve that freedom. And one day, Adam and Eve decided to rebel against God and say, uh, I, I want to be independent. I want to, I want to do my own thing. I don't need God controlling me. And this is when the problems of mankind started. Uh, when Adam and Eve decided to leave God, they got a disease. And this, this disease would eventually kill them. This disease is called uh, sin nature. Sin is simply the, uh, not doing what God wants us to do. Uh, God wants us to have good thoughts. He wants us to think of love and kindness and gentleness and and friendship. He doesn't want us to be thinking about, you know, hatred and anger and jealousy and envy. So when we have these bad thoughts, these are these are called sins. And and when we uh, actually do bad things, like if you hurt another person or you're mean to another person or you you steal from them or you do something bad, that's called a sin. So. When, if Adam and Eve had bad thoughts or did bad things, those were sins. 
And because of Adam and Eve uh, sinning, every child that they ever had was born with this disease called sin, sin that's living inside us. And because of that, God couldn't have a relationship with us anymore because God's perfect. God is nothing but love. There's no sin in God, and he, he can't associate with it. So God had to separate from Adam and Eve. They went their own way, and they produced children and grandchildren and generations. And eventually, millions and billions of people came from Adam and Eve, and we all have this same disease, sin, living inside us. Well, because of that sin, we could not be close to God and have this loving relationship with Him. But God really wanted us to love Him, and He wanted to have a loving relationship with Him as His children. So He, he decided He needed to do something to restore the relationship, because man could not cure this sin disease that he had. Uh, man would try to, to cure it, by trying to do good things and, and uh, you know, be a good person and think that, that somehow God would be pleased with him again, but they still had this sin disease, so God couldn't go near them. So God knew that man couldn't cure the sin disease. God decided he would cure the sin disease. And God said, what I'll do is I'll become a man and live with them. But I'll be perfect because I won't have any sin disease. And I'll live a perfect life. And he did that. He, God became a man. And this man we know is Jesus. Jesus Christ. Uh, he's called the Son of God. So this Jesus Christ uh, was born and he lived a perfect life. And, and he, he showed us how to be perfect. But there was still the problem of the sin disease. And someone had to do something about it. There was only one cure for the sin disease. And that is that people had to die. That's the only way the disease is cured, through death. But God didn't want us to die and, and have to pay for the sin disease and cure it. So Jesus Christ says, I'll die for them instead. And he was nailed to a cross and horribly killed. And, and while he was dying, all of your sins and my sins, the sins of the whole world, everybody who ever lived, everybody who ever will live, all of the sin disease was put on Jesus. He be, the Bible says he became sin for us. All of our sins were put on him and removed from us. And he died and paid for the sins of the whole world. Isn't that wonderful that he loved us so much that he would do that for us. So there was no more barrier between man and God. The, the sin disease was cured. Uh, but after Jesus died, they buried him. And he was buried and dead for three days. And then he brought himself back to life. He, a dead body, he brought it back to life, a physical body brought back to life and he he lived on the earth for 40 days showing everybody look I brought myself back to life he wanted to prove that he truly is this God Almighty and he wanted to prove that he did cure the sin disease so by raising himself back to life he proved who he is and what he did and then he left the earth and went up to live in heaven and wait for us to join him. Now, since then, every person has been able to have a relationship with Jesus Christ as God Almighty and the Savior, the cure for the sin disease. Every one of us can have this relationship with Jesus. Uh, the Bible says it's a gift. Jesus is offering every one of us the gift of living forever with him in heaven. And he says, I'll give it this to you as a free gift if you'll just believe in me and stop believing in yourself. See, part of the 
the man's sin disease was believing that they didn't need God, but they could just do everything on their own, make their own decisions. And uh, they could solve this sin disease on their own. So Jesus just says, if you will just understand that you need me to cure the sin disease and believe that I paid for your sins when I died on that cross, uh, I will give you life, eternal life. That means you'll live forever and you'll never, ever die. And you can live with Jesus in heaven forever and ever and, and have joy and peace and happiness just like Adam and Eve had in the beginning. Jesus is offering that to every person in the world. Now, it doesn't matter if, if, you, if you're a pretty good person or a pretty bad person. Uh, it, it, it's not a question of how good or bad you are because Jesus already cured the sin disease. The only thing that matters now is will you receive this gift from Jesus? Will you accept it? He's offering it to you now. Do you want it? He'll give it to you. And if you receive it, you will live forever in heaven. It's really that simple. Now, once you receive the gift by believing in Jesus and saying, Jesus, I, I believe that you paid for my sins and I want you to, to give me the gift of eternal life, he gives you eternal life and you become what the Bible says, a child of God. You're God's Almighty's own child now. And you become a new person. You're not the old person with the sin disease. You're a new person. And now uh, you have the rest of your life to live. And even though you may do some bad things in your life, and if you do something bad, you know, like, you know, if you decide that... Uh, you're going to start smoking and drinking and uh, gambling and stealing and doing bad things, then, uh, you know, you might get sick and you might uh, go to jail, you know, because if you continue doing bad things, then, then you're going to get bad things back in return for it. So Jesus paid for all your sins, but that doesn't mean that you can just go along, along in life and be, hate people and be jealous and angry and mean and dishonest. If you, if you do, can, do continue doing those things, then uh, you probably will be sorry you did it because uh, you'll get caught and you'll get in trouble. But at the end of your life, you take your last breath, you know that you're going to receive eternal life and live forever with Jesus in heaven because you put your faith in him. Now, once you've received this gift of eternal life from Jesus, you never have to worry about losing it because, because the, the Bible says that you, you become a new person and you've been, like it was like you were born from your mother, now you're born again from God as a new person a child of God and no matter what you ever do God will never forsake you or, 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 or reject you again so God promises that no matter what you do in your life you're going to live forever with him in heaven because you put your faith in Jesus now will you do it now will you believe the story I told you will you believe that you cannot cure the problem yourself. You need to put your faith in God Almighty, Jesus Christ, to, to be your Savior, to cure the sin disease for you, and to give you eternal life. Will you do it? Put your faith in Him now. And let's all say hallelujah. Praise our great Savior God. His name is Jesus Christ.